Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it gives me great pleasure and privilege to be here. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the Chinese Consulate General in Perth, I'd like to congratulate AEMS for uh, hosting this event, which I think would be a terrific platform for uh, the young people to create, incubate, to showcase and share their brilliant ideas with each other. Well, we are living in a time when the global economic growth is increasingly reliant on the technology development. In a world full of challenges and uh, uh, competitiveness, it is very easy to lose the battle if you ignore the significance of innovation. Nobody will deny that the innovation is the catalyst of technology upgrade and the driving force of economic growth. In this regard, both China and Australia are very important players in this very important game. I'm not sure how many of you are aware that Australia is a country not only endowed with massive reserve of mineral resources, but also magic land that generated 16 outstanding Nobel Prize laureates. Do you know that a lot of great inventions are born in Australia, such as Wi-Fi, such as black box in the airplane, such as Google Maps, such as medical use of penicillin, the ultrasound scanner, and of course, the ESCII box. <laughs> so as amazing as it has been, Australia is still working very hard to keep its position as the world's leading innovation country. China is regarded by many Australians as the emerging regional power. But in terms of technology and innovation, we're still relatively uh, lagging behind. Although uh, Rob just now put in a lot of nice words to, to China, we think we're still a beginner and we have a long way to go. But in recent years, China has invested a huge amount of effort in catching up with other countries. Last year, the expenditure of China's R&D stands the third largest in the world. And it, it accounts for uh, around 3% of China's GDP, pretty much close to Australia, whose R&D expenditure is also 3% of its GDP. And in the future, Chinese government is committed to make more investment in R&D, because we believe only by innovation can we maintain the competitiveness in the world? And only by innovation can we move up to a better place in the global value chain. In my daily work as the commercial counsel in the Chinese consulate, I often talk about how complementary our two economies are. But let's not forget, nowadays, the cooperation between Australia and China has already expanded way beyond just trade and investment. Both countries have a great deal of um, high talented young people. And we are so glad to see that they are working so hard with each other to bring more and more brilliant ideas to the public. We applaud them for their great contributions to our economy, and we look forward to their greater achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, just to conclude my speech, the Alpha Innovation Contest is a great platform, and I hope everyone could take advantage of this opportunity. So on behalf of the Chinese Consulate General in Perth, I'd like to wish the Innovation Contest a great success. Thank you very much.